I hate to break it to you, but Europe is the source of every evil. If you're not convinced, I mean, let me read the numbers for you so you could gain a perspective. When European colonizers discovered America, how do you discover a, a continent that was home to 80 million native Indians? When European colonizers invaded, occupied, and attempted to colonize America, they killed 56 million native Indians. That is close to 90% of the original population of the people, the original people of, of America, 56 million. When Europeans uh, 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 colonized Australia, they annihilated 90% of the Aboriginal people living in Australia. In World War I, 40 million people were killed by Europeans. In World War II, 80 million people were killed by Europeans. In uh, during uh, the uh, uh, slave trade, European uh, traders, European colonizers uh, uh, enslaved 12 million Africans, uh, um, 2.5 million of which were killed, died uh, during the harsh and brutal voyage to the Americas. Uh, King Leopold of Belgium killed 10 million Africans in the Congo alone. 1.7 million people were killed during the European Crusades to uh, 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 invade Jerusalem, the holy city. 3.8 million people were killed during the Vietnam War by the Americans, which are originally Europeans. 250,000, that is a quarter of a million civilians, were killed by Americans, which are originally Europeans, of course, uh, when they dropped two bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in, in Japan. Three million Al Algerians were killed by the French during the French occupation of Algeria. Three million Muslim Algerians were killed in Algeria during the French occupation of Algeria. 750,000 Muslims were slaughtered and killed in cold blood in Libya uh, uh, by the Italians when they occupied Libya. 4.5 million Muslims were killed by the U.S. during their unjustified war against different Muslim countries from the Middle Eastern region. You know, Europeans have killed more people than uh, uh, the flood of Noah. I mean, Europeans have killed more people than natural disasters. Europeans have killed more innocent people from all around the world than anything else and anyone else. And then they come and they call every single nation and every single resistance, lawful resistance from every single nation that has fought back against their tyranny, against their occupation, against their oppression, and against their invasion, and against their attempt to enslave these people. They call these resistant movements and res lawful resistant uh, 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 people uh, terrorists, barbarians. I mean, the Native Indians were called barbarians. Uh, um, the same goes for the Aboriginals of Australia. And the same goes in South Africa, by, by the way, which I forgot to mention. And by the way, Israel killed one million Palestinians since 1947. One million Palestinians were killed by the European Zionists who came from Europe to occupy Palestine. And they made seven million Palestinians refugees outside Palestine and there are 7 million Palestinian refugees still living in Palestine today 2.4 million of which live in Gaza and by the way all 2.4 million Palestinians living in Gaza are actually uh, 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 refugees who have been displaced from different parts of Palestine you know during the Israeli uh, genocidal war and occupation that has lasted for 76 years and then they dare call the Hamas resistant movement the lawful resistant movement Hamas terrorist you know they have called every single resistant movement all around the world, terrorists, rebellions, barbarians, uh, fanatics, Islamists, extremists, you know, just because they fought back against the tyranny and oppression of these uh, uh, colonizing countries, these Western colonizing countries who 
attempted to colonize their countries, invade their countries, occupy their countries, exploit their resources, enslave the nation of these countries. Every time we fight back against their tyranny and oppression, we are called terrorists, we are called fanatics, we are called Islamists, we are called barbarians because we want to live the same way they live. We want uh, uh, to liberate our country. We want to liberate our uh, 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 families from the shackles of enslavement of um, the uh, uh, violent, aggressive uh, 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 occupier. It is shameful, really, because millions of Americans and Europeans, uh, 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 you know, believe the crap that is told on Zionist media uh, in America and Europe, and they continue to uh, uh, push their agenda and spread their lies, you know, as if Muslims do not have the right to exist, as if other nations do not have the right to exist. Only Europeans have the right to exist. And this derives from their hateful, racist, discriminative mentality, which they have adopted from their Bible, by the way. If you read the Bible, you'll understand that this is not a book from God. It has enticed violence. It has enticed racism. It has encouraged uh, these uh, Zionist Europeans to continue to enslave other nations, to continue to belittle other nations of different races, different colors, different religions. Read the Bible, you'll understand this is the source of their evil, you know, and it's not because it's from God. The Bible is not from God. The Bible is a man-made written book, written by the same exact people who uh, uh, are occupying nations, who are enslaving people, who are committing genocide and committing ethnic cleansing against people from different parts of the world and not just Palestine. Please spread the video. Let people know the numbers. Let people understand. Let people gain perspective.